Good afternoon and thanks for joining me. I want to do a video. I'm not going to lie and say it's going to be quick, but I hope that it will be quick. Um, I want to do a video showing you how to simplify your designs. If you're bringing in a design, um, a PNG or a JPG into SoArt and um, going straight to the stitch out and you end up with hours and hours and hours of stitch out, it's because you have too many colors going on. So whenever you open up your file, let's go ahead and choose open. And in the SNS computing folder in your program files, in your operating system, um, you should have these two pictures that came with your download of SoArt, penguin or a tiger. They're both PNGs and um, we're, gonna we're gonna use the penguin today. We're gonna choose open. And to you and I, there's like seven colors, right? There's white, there's two purples, and there's two yellows, so that's five, six, seven, so seven colors, right? I'm not, <laughs> I can't keep count of my own count. Anyways, there's not very many colors. And our color reduction, what you're going to want to do is come into your color reduction whenever you first bring anything into SOAR and you wanna check how many colors you have. You can manually bring your colors down here or you can just use this to check before you go into the other options, okay? If you have 246 colors and you just go straight into the stitch image and go to auto sew image and sew all colors, it's gonna sew all this whole background and because you have 256 colors in there, um, I'll show you what it looks like. So it's going to, wherever this black mark is, I think it's right there, it's going to stitch that one. And then it's going to go to a different hue, a, diff, a color just a slightly bit off, and stitch that one. And then it's going to stop and it's going to ask you to do another color change for this color that has less than a point, less than 0 0.1, so, or 0 0.01, sorry. So all these little tiny increments, right? So that's what's happening with all of those colors. We're going to go ahead and go to the color reduction. We're going to bring this down slowly. We can bring it all the way down to 10, but we're going to lose um, our two different color on the beak. The, the different colors on the beak because they're going to merge in together. Let's click OK and see. We don't have that anymore. If you don't care about that, then you are awesome. You can move on. But I want it to look like how it's supposed to look, right? So I've been doing this same one probably about 10 times now to try to do this video. And I've learned that 34 is the number that I can bring it down to, <laughs> of course, because I said that. So let's try 35. Okay, 35 is the number that it'll bring it down to that won't let it, that won't change these two or these two purples, okay? So now because I can't do anything else with the color reduction, it's still gonna be too much. It's still going to stitch out all of this black, jump and try to stitch more black out, more. It's gonna jump and do a million little jump stitches there. We don't need any of that. We don't want any of that, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose merge range first. It's gonna take any colors, all the blues right here, all these different blues. You can do this manually for each one, or you can choose these. We're gonna merge range, and it's gonna merge anything under 50%, so we can go slow. Okay, I, when it did that, I lost that, so I didn't like that. I'm gonna undo it. I'm gonna choose merge range, but I'm gonna bring it down to 25. And I still, I don't like that either. All right, so then let's do this manually. All right, I'm gonna start with the biggest color and that's the blue. And what it's gonna happen is it's gonna merge it with the closest blue with the biggest blue okay so these blues up here 
we want to just merge merge so choose all the smallest of the color you're trying to merge first okay and so we should only have this one blue we don't need to despeckle because there's nothing out there hanging out. Okay, so we have our black still. Let's go ahead and merge this with the closest and it'll merge it with the black. Same with this. Okay, we want this 1.11 to be separate than this 506. But it's going to go ahead and merge this with that other color first. Okay, so whenever you click on these two yellows, you want two yellows. But you don't want this line right here because whenever it goes to stitch out, it's going to want to stitch up there and then it's going to get underneath the black. See how there's the black outline there and then yellow up there? You don't want that. So go ahead and choose despeckle and that cleans it up. But then you also have this square that's your cursor. It's a little heart shape. Look at how cute is that? I know I'm big dork. Okay, so you just erase it and then click on it again. It'll bring it out. And then there's no more line underneath that black, just the yellow up there all by itself. Okay, so these are just little cleanup things you have to do. The purples, you're going to want to do the same thing with. Okay, you are going to want to despeckle this one. And then you want to merge that purple. So then there should be two purples. And then this is going to need to be despeckled for sure. There's no more purples to merge it with except for that last purple. And you don't want to do that because then all your purples will be the same. So now we despeckle it. All right. Double check on those. Double check on those two. Okay, and so these all just look like despeckling little nightmares. <laughs> I'm going to merge everything. And this shouldn't take this long. For some reason, whenever I chose the merge range, it just wiped out stuff I wanted to keep. So this shouldn't usually take this long. if you can use those easily. Okay, so now we have our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors. Seven is because we're using the white in the background. We're gonna end up with eight colors because we need another color in the background. All right, so we're going to choose okay. And let's go ahead and go in here to fill region and put the sew art colors in here. It kind of helps flood everything and um, put up all the colors to the end. There might be places really deep down where there's no pixels in between and you'll get a gap that you don't know where it came from and it's because there's no color there and it's really annoying. <laughs> so let's go ahead and choose the sew art black. Click in the black. I'm not going to go in and do all the detail. Oh, wow, that got rid of my eye completely. Oops. <laughs> Anyways, there's... Oh, well, I guess I have to do all the detail. Actually, I'm not going to update the black because that takes forever. I had a feeling that happened. I think I... I hit rewind too many times or undo. 
Okay. So let's go in here. I don't want to do the black because the black is a bunch of details. It's going to take forever. All right. So let's go with the blue. Mm, none of those colors really match, but that's okay. Don't forget the little wing. All right. Our purples, a darker purple and a lighter. And then we'll do a darker orange and a yellow. Um, I like that color. That one's pretty much a match. All right, and then I'm not gonna touch the black, but they're all the same color already. And then in the background, let's make the background a color that's totally separate. We'll make red in the background. Okay. So now we should have our black outline, our blue and our wing, the red outline there, purple, purple, yellow, yellow, and the white for the belly and the eyes that we can't see. Okay, so now with this, we're able to go over to the stitch image. If you want, you can resize as well. If you're not going to open it in anything else, resize your image before coming in here. Do your reflection, all that other stuff. You can um, play around with the posterize, but that's mostly for like um, painted objects and um, um, photos. Alrighty, so let's go straight into stitch image from here. And then on here, you can choose auto sew image. I don't usually use auto sew image because I like to choose the order that the stitching happens in, but you can still use it. So here we'll go to set transparent color. If you choose sew all colors, it's gonna choose, it's gonna sew the red in the back. If you choose set transparent color and choose the red, it'll sew everything else out. Okay, and it's finished, auto sew is done. It's gonna stitch out the black first, which I would stitch out last. It's gonna stitch out the light part of the purple, the dark part of the purple, the blue, um, the white part, and then the yellows, okay? And um, I would probably do all that same stuff, but I would have the black outline the very last. All right, so after this, you go up here to file and you choose save as and an image option will come up so you can save this image for digitizing later. I'm not going to, I'm gonna choose cancel and then save embroidery file comes up. This is gonna let me save the PES and I can also change my pattern size right here. Alrighty, to fit into any hoop. I hope that this was helpful for you guys. Um, I know that it kind of ended up being longer than I wanted it to, but the number one thing that's going to help you reduce your time, simplify your embroidery time is going to be um, reducing your colors. And there's tons of videos out there on, on the internet about how to prepare your images. The One of the very best ones that I've seen and recommend is one by Maya Tweston. It's about an hour and a half long, I think, or maybe longer, but it's really, really, really good and in-depth if you're going to be using PNGs and JPGs and stuff like that in SOART. It will help you prepare. I think it's called preparing your files for SOART. So I'm going to um, put that in the link below, Just, but there's also a lot of other videos and there's a lot of different teachers for SOART. So look around and listen to what other people have to say and, you know, kind of put all that stuff together and that will, different people's perspectives, I guess is what I'm getting at, will help you to understand all of this a little bit better. Um, I, I really hope that this helped. If you still have questions after this, please find me on Facebook. I, it's really hard for me to help with questions on YouTube in the comment section because we can't share pictures. So if you ask me what something is, I can't send a picture of it to you. So if you're on Facebook, find us on there. I'll put links in the description below or just look for Clever Dog Designs. All right, talk to you later. Bye-bye.